What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. It's 2024, guys, and things are not always perfect, especially for people who are not necessarily skilled. The world is changing, AI is taking over, and a lot of us are scared. But again, just like in the pandemic, the people who suffered the most, in my honest opinion, were women and children. A lot of guys who had manufacturing jobs and things like that, they suffered here and there. But a lot of the trades guys were still working and making money. A lot of the office and clerical guys and, and women, too, had a lot of shortages. And, you know, it was very difficult. And that's why we saw so many ladies trying to find alternate forms of income. This is not every lady, but obviously we saw a big jump on hmm, OnlyFans. But Anton Daniels posted a pretty interesting video the other day that I found on Worldstar about homeless women in America. Hey there. It's 2.30 in the morning and I don't feel like getting into why I'm sleeping in a parking lot. But I do know that uh, you're usually allowed to sleep in a Walmart parking lot. So I came to this Walmart parking lot and there is a hotel and with empty parking spots and that car and that car and that car and every car that you can see and one or two through there every single one of those cars is got has got somebody sleeping in it because a woman came over when I pulled up and asked me if I needed something because I had to do something to my truck and she asked me if I needed anything if I needed a flashlight, if she could help me in any way. Her name's Susie. She's super sweet. And I said, no, thanks. And I looked around and, and I asked, I said, can, can I sleep in this parking lot? And she's like, yeah. And that's when she told me, she said, every single one of these cars has someone sleeping in it. That green truck right there, he's here every night. I'm here every night, she said. There's a blue truck here with a trailer on it. Mm -hmm. In the greatest nation on earth there are people and they're nice some of them are nice cars my truck is a decent truck shiny clean yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen ish cars and there's like three dozen empty parking spots in the hotel next door mm -hmm. yeah but the economy is great. Fucking great. Now, this is a white lady. And then you know the saying, when white people get the sniffles, black people get the flu. And that basically means if it affects white folks, it affects black folks even more. And then we come to this situation. Melody Rivers was evicted from her home in 2019, shortly after finding out she had precancerous polyps and had to have emergency surgery, she was laid off from her job. When she came home from surgery, she had received a three day notice to pay her rent. And after pleading her case in court was evicted from her home. Had I not gone to court to stand up for myself, I just think I would have been out on the streets. And I wrote a simple letter, very simple, plain letter. This is what happened. I have short-term disability. I'm waiting for their approval to issue it. I have this amount of money in cash on hand. The VA administration will pay you X, Y, Z dollars. All you have to do is sign. Now again, there's a lady out here who's going to actually blame black men for black women being homeless. He's attacking me in this post like it's not a simple explanation, which is y'all name are not on leases in order to get evicted. So of course you can't be included in this study. When your mama kick you out, Pookie, those numbers are not gonna be included in this study. A lot of y'all are felons. You can't even lease nowhere, right? So a lot of y'all have black women putting their name on leases just for you to be able to live there. Credit bad, can't pass the income verification. So you need black women to put their name on the lease just so you can live there. And some of y'all live in these places that are being evicted 
with said black women that you don't even help pay bills at. So you helped her get evicted, right? Let's really talk about the study. If you want to talk about the study, of course, white women's numbers would be lower because they actually got white men providing and helping them pay bills, if not paying all the bills. But Pookie, you're just somewhere living and freeloading and you don't have your name on a lease in order to get included in this study, Pookie. Now, it's very interesting because Atlanta Street Interviews has a channel Shout out to Brother Marcus. And most of the people that you see on this channel are homeless black women. Of course, you see some men here and there, but the majority of them are homeless. And why is that? Well, first of all, most women have to care for not only themselves, but for kids. All right. Um, it's hard to take care of kids and find work and work and take care of kids. And then also, what happens is a lot of women are on that sort of independent type hype, which is nothing really wrong with that. I mean, it's okay to be independent as a woman, but a lot of women don't understand uh, the value of being in, in, in communities. And that's even men too, especially in the black community. We try to do it us against the world type of thing. And that really just doesn't work. Um, it's not a good conducive attitude towards being successful. It just doesn't work like that. And so we need people around us. And a lot of times when women believe that, you know, hey, you know, if me, if me and the guy break up or the guy doesn't have the right characteristics and he leaves, I can still do very well without him. The reality is that some ladies can do very well without the guy, but not really, right? Even me as a small business owner in the YouTube space, a lot of my success is based on other people's efforts, right? That was much different when I had a job. You know, when I had a job, I just didn't need to depend on other people all like that. Uh, basically, I just went to work. That was my income. I worked out and that came, you know, came home. And um, I needed extra money. I would work overtime. But I didn't have other people that I needed to depend on to get to where I'm at. There would be no way for me to put out these many videos or to be able to collaborate with people or just, you know, be in the content creator economy. If number one, I just didn't invest. And number two, I just didn't pay people. I wouldn't be able to have, you know, Dima and, and SPK and the other guys that work so hard. Elix, Peter, those are the guys in Brivian who helped me create such valuable content. I wouldn't be able to do any of that. That is necessarily not the case with a lot of women. Women get a job that may not be you know, paying that much money. They don't have um, a, a, a spouse, you know, in today's world that could be male or female or a companion that can help them. And so that puts you on the verge of being homeless, especially if you live in expensive cities like Seattle, you live in expensive cities like San Francisco. And then as you get older, you know, um, you don't go out as much. Your dating opportunities might not be as vast because you have less time or because you just feel like you're wasting your time in the dating market. And then here's the elephant in the room. You may never have worked on what it takes for you to get the kind of man that you want. And that's a big problem for a lot of uh, uh, ladies. You know, they feel that they should get what they want. And then they don't really understand that, you know, they haven't done so. Because they haven't done that research, they can never qualify for the men that they're looking for the guys who can provide and then so you go around blaming guys for you not having what you have and now you know you overspend um you're not managing your money correctly you know you you know you need to look nice you need to look good you know you need to go out there and show things that and you're not fiscally managing your money it adds up and it does add up into homelessness and a lot of ladies are are experiencing that there are a certain group of ladies out there their value is more on clout than it is in productivity okay so to be honest whenever you value clout more than productivity how 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 can you take that seriously okay how can you take that seriously you, you you're val you're valuing clout more than being productive like what like what can you do with that and this is exactly what you see so often in the black world, especially among younger ladies. It's, you know, I want to look rich. I'm not actually trying to be rich. I'm not 
adding enough value into people's lives. And when you can't add that kind of value into people's lives, you just get, you just get no opportunities and missed opportunities. They add up and they add up and they add up until one day those doors close, whether it's dating or financial and you haven't taken enough risk to get your, put yourself out there and boom, you know, no mentorship. Now you're homeless. It can happen to anybody. You know, everybody is at risk for that, but you got to be valuable to so many people now. You know, if you want to get a husband or a wife, you have to be motivated a lot to do very well. And that's just not the case with a lot of people. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Sudie Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Oh, 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 oh,